What is going on? Diamond Eyes here, and today we're going to look at the age-old question, Mac versus PC. In general, both are great for multi-purpose use, like word processing, web browsing, that's a given. However, I am more focused on the gaming performance, and how has it changed since the last time I did this video almost a year ago. The specs of the PC will be shown before the benchmarks. Do note, I wanted to make this a fair fight as possible, so I turned off my GPU overclocks, as well as both operating systems are installed on SSDs. And with that, cue the benchmarks. Another battle completed. Now compared to the previous video of mine, the two major changes I added to the system was obviously the first generation GTX Titan and I bumped up myself to 16 gigs of RAM. Now the main difference I see here is possibly the, the GTX Titan being more graphically intensive for OpenGL and all the other tests and things. That's not what I found, but uh, before I get into that, let's go to the synthetic benchmarks first. Uh, Heaven benchmark had only about 130 point difference. Valley was definitely the bigger difference there, which is definitely where the Titan did its welcome with 517 points. That was really good. Things got very interesting in the Geekbench test though. For some reason, favoring OS Sierra over, over Windows in both the multi-core and the single core performance. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Uh, the weirdest one was definitely Cinebench R15, where both the CPU and the OpenGL testing scored less on both platforms even though i technically have more powerful hardware so i i honestly i have no idea what happened with that particular test i even ran them both three different times too to make sure that these tests were accurate and they were so not entirely sure what happened there on that one. so between those between let's move on to the gaming benchmarks tomb raider max and average fps were pretty much neck and neck so literally like one to two fps difference as you saw the minimum fps was definitely the kicker though dropping it all the way down to to those low levels so it, it's still very playable i think it would as long as it stays at that average fps it should be okay as long as you don't like let's say not like get any stutters or anything like that so it should be okay for that sense dirt 3 was like literally no match on sierra compared to windows uh it literally almost like literally had almost doubled by the same amount of fps on all fronts so that was that was kind of cool but Sierra is not a match on Windows FPS at least. CSGO, same story as Dirt. I mean, it's playable in both, but Windows is literally getting more FPS and almost doubled by this game. And, and with people having, you know, 144 hertz monitors, which I don't have, could be more beneficial for people on Windows to use anyways. Uh, Rocket League was the odd one. On Windows, I was obviously okay. I had the standard, you know, recording uh, software I was using anyways. On OS Sierra though, uh, I was getting a lot of micro stutters, especially when I first entered the game or at least the arena on the first part so it's very interesting how these uh operating systems have operate uh, games and it looks to show that yes well it is very playable os sierra is definitely playable for gaming it depends on actually how many supported games are there though the multi-platform games are not as much uh there's not as much you can see compared to what would you just say just play on windows as an example or, you know, if, uh, if you're putting it onto Linux as well, that one's definitely having its own set of libraries and things that want you to play, regardless of about using, like, Wine, uh, Wine emulation and such like that. So, it is definitely a very interesting way how, if you want to play on a Mac, you can. It's not the best experience, but... If your experience is, you know, like just literally just gunning for 60 FPS or anything like that, 
hey, it should be good. It should be a good way, and then you can still benefit on using all the uh, OS uh, Sierra stuff, like all the options, all the new things that are happening in that operating system. And just, you know, if you like Apple system more, honestly. But, you know, if you're a gamer like me and things, I would stick to Windows only because the exclusives and some of the PC games, especially the DirectX 12 titles, for example, are showing up more on Windows. And it pretty much brings out a very big library of games that you can get to pick and choose from. So, that's my thought. That's my way of seeing how how this gaming has changed out the cross of the since last year. So hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, I also want to mention though that I only did Windows 10 benchmarks in the anniversary update. Uh, by the time that you're watching this video, there is going to be a new update called the Creators Update, which will just be released uh, yesterday, the 11th. So hopefully, maybe we can have I'll have that as a separate video. But I'm not sure entirely yet, depending on my schoolwork and things. So. I hope to see you in the next one. Later.